Hey guys, how you doing? Admiral Neelix here. I'm going to try to make a video explaining a little more in detail about the Vidar and uh, what you get uh, while uh, killing Borg and such. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, so we have uh, the Vidar and you can get it for free. Um, it might take a couple of uh, times when you see it in the uh, event store. Uh, and in the event store, when you're looking for it, um, let's see, I'm, I don't think I'm going to have any ships available this time. Oh, maybe so. Okay, so when you start seeing ship uh, blueprints, look for this one here, the Vidar blueprints. All right, when you get it, it's going to cost you um, 100 for every 10 blueprints in this particular event. Okay, and of course, you have to be of high enough level. You can't get it in the lower levels, not yet. Uh, but when you start getting it offered into this store, start working on getting it. Uh, sometimes it takes different um, kinds of tokens, and sometimes you can get at least like half of it in one event, and then wait it, wait till it's offered again, and get the other half. Either way, you can get it for free. Now, what do you get when you get the Vidar? When you get the Vidar, you are going to get um, some warp um, warp tokens, and let me see where I can take you for that. Okay, let's go here, let's go to Refinery, and we're gonna go under Borg, down here on the bottom where I'm scrolling, let's go to Borg. You'll see up here on the top that you get inert nanoprobes. These are what you get automatically when you kill Borg ships. Okay, every time you kill Borg ships, there's gonna be a different number of these in each ship. So during the beginning rounds, you're gonna wanna kinda tap them and see how many have the most. That way you get the most out of each kill. Once your ship is built up some, you don't have to worry about that. You just go kill, 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 and you'll just collect a whole bunch of them. Okay, so what you do with these inert nanoprobes, you see this first one here. I, ha I still have four hours to wait on it. But um, it'll exchange inert nanoprobes to charged nanoprobes. Charged nanoprobes are going to be these green ones. These are what are used to upgrade the ship. Um, you're going to uh, tear it up, you're going to level it up, you're, you're going to level each uh, weapon up um, along with other materials that you might need and these are what you use to build up the ship itself. Now keep in mind, the higher power that you give to your ship, the more of these you are going to need, okay? And also the more of these inert nanoprobes you're going to need just to exchange, alright? Now these inert nanoprobes here for active nanoprobes, these are what you use to tear up and build up your Borg crew. Okay, so when you go recruiting and you start getting Borg, you're going to want some of these. Don't waste a lot on these. Only get them when you need them. Don't have a whole stockpile of them because you're going to need uh, for the ship more. Plus, here's some other goodies that you'll start getting. These right here, if you turn in the charged nanoprobes, which are the green ones, all right, these are the charged ones, you trade them in for credits. And there I'll get 132 for each that I turn in. Then I have to wait 24 hours, and then I can turn them in again. Same with the rest of these I'm about to show you. This guy here is different, all right? I have one day and 20 hours left on him. This is what you get, uh, and it won't show me. Okay, this is right. Okay. For every time you kill a Ferengi ship, you're going to get a Latinum Antique. And a Latinum Antique kind of looks like a little gold version of the Ferengi ship itself and you will find those in Ferengi Borg ships in Borg space only where you kill Borgs. Now I'm going to show you a, a space where you go to mine Latinum and you'll see a bunch of these flying around but they are full of Latinum only not these Latinum antiques. You can only get those the same way you kill a scout ship in one of your factions. Okay so here if you're looking to get some credits for your factions, you can turn in uh, for some credits here. At 370, I have to use 3,300. That's about the going rate at, the, at any level, just about, and, and that amount will grow. I can get them in Klingon, and I can get them in Romulan as well. These guys here, if I want to boost my reputation points in one of my factions, then I'll turn my charged nanoprobes in for one of these. Now, as you see, it will add to my um, fre uh, Federation and take away from Romulan and Klingon, and um, just the same as it would for each of these. This will add to Klingon, take away from the other two, and so on. So these are what you get when you start using your Vidar, 
and grinding Borg. Now, where do you grind Borg? This is the lowest area, the 25s, are going to be the first ships that you will kill with your uh, Vidar right out of the box. You won't have to tear it up. You won't have to worry about special crew. You can just go here and start killing them. At the beginning levels of this ship, you might be able to kill maybe 10 or maybe less. It depends on what crew you have. I'll show you what crew to use for that uh, in just a moment. Where is this in space to where you are? All right, so we're going to go to Galaxy Map. And it is right here below the center part of the Romulan area. As you'll see, there's 25 here, uh, there's a 25 here, and there's a 25 here. These are the first rounds that you'll be killing Borg. This particular 25 right here, right next to them, this is going to be the spot where you're going to see the special Latinum. When you kill a Ferengi... Um, uh, assimilated a friendly Borg, um, you will get, now I don't want you to mistake this, this is the one where you only get the Latinum from these particular ones, all right, but what you do is you look for that ship, that symbol with the drilling icon, you look for that in any other Borg space, and you will get that special um, Latinum antique that will allow you to get special uh, warp tokens to get into that particular space. Those warp tokens, well, uh, other warp tokens that you automatically get, every day you get two of them up to eight. Once you reach eight, you will not get any more until you start using them. When you use two a day, you get another two to replace it the next day, in other words. So here's that 25 area here in the center of your screen. Over here, we are going to look at a higher spot where you'll see in the center of the screen 32s. You will come here in the middle of the screen and where you'll find 28s, 29s, 30s. And then there should be another spot. There we go, 32s and 33s and 31s. Now, once you start getting a little more advanced in your killing with Borg, then we're going to come over here to the cube side. And I'm going to show you the inside of this. When a lot of us get um, Vidars and they get in the high levels, we can start killing these um, Borg Armadas for the cube. Okay, as you see, it's very reminiscent of the um, the whale's uh, doomsday uh, space sphincter, as some of y'all like to call it. Um, and so these are going to be pretty hard to kill, so we're going to need at least, I think, nine or ten of us to, to try to do that. Uh, so work on getting those. Um, these spots right here, there was a Borg event where we were able to come in here and kill these smaller Borg armadas. I can kill these by myself with my ship. And you get nanoprobes for these as well. Uh, let's see. There you, so you get inerts here, 147. And just like the other Borgs, you, you will find uh, more and more or less or less, you know, whenever you're, you're searching these. Okay. So that is where you get with the Borg. That is how you use it. When you uh, start getting it, look into your event store. That, like I said, you may not get it in one try. Uh, or one uh, set of uh, tokens worth. It might take two or three um, events for you to get one, but it is absolutely free for you. And so this is how I suggest to get it. I do highly suggest getting this ship. All right, the Borg ship, it's um, basically the smaller version of the ship that you see on um, Star Trek where Nero flew in uh, and started killing everybody. This is um, basically his ship. All right, so that is it. Uh, oh, hold on. I got to show you how to crew this. All right. So basic crew for this is going to be Maru. All right. Pike in the center seat and Tilan. These three right here are basically the holy trinity of killing certain ships that are specialty. All right. When you're killing regular reds, that's when you have Chen put in this spot right there. Chen will take care of the regular reds. Okay. And I'll go more into detail on that later on. Um, other than that, have a great day, good luck, and take care.